If you're looking for easygoing, low maintenance house plants, this is the place. Let's talk about the top five. What's up fellow plant enthusiasts? My name is Dylan Bain and this is Bain's Botanicals. Today we're going to be talking about the top five easygoing, easy care, low maintenance house plants. Um, these are just my opinion, but I think a lot of you will agree with me. Easy care to me is something that doesn't require really particular watering schedules. Um, it's something that can be a little forgiving if you neglect it. It's something that doesn't require excessive humidity so that you have to track that. Just something that you can kind of let it sit and do its thing. Obviously you still have to care for it. You still have to give it light. You still have to give it water and everything and fertilize it. But they're just plants that in general are not too particular. So I'm going to do these in order. Um, I'm going to start with this one. Cactus, yes. Cactus is like a living sculpture. I mean, you just sort of let it sit here. This is a nice little little uh, gymnocactus, I think is what it is. I've had this one for coming up on about two years. Oh no, no, I think it's about three years actually. Uh, they grow really slowly, obviously. I mean, it wasn't really much smaller than this when I got it. and you water them and then you just don't mess with them. Just let them sit there. Put, it, put them in bright light and that's it. They don't need humidity. Uh, they don't need a ton of fertilizer. I mean, you can get like cactus fertilizer, but you still don't have to do it that often. Uh, they're easy to care for in the winter time. You don't have to worry about them. You just water them even less. So yeah, cactus number five for sure. The only reason they didn't score higher is that the only issue with cactus is that if you overwater it like once and it gets root rot it's done like that's it like there's no it's not as forgiving in that regard but as long as you don't do that it's it's pretty easy just don't just don't water it that much i mean they can go so long without water this whole thing if you ever cut a cactus open the whole thing is water so um yes number four I would say, I'm gonna say this one right here, if I can grab it without breaking any of it. Oh my gosh, oh, it's so big. Um, this is a Hope Peperomia. Um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the name, the actual scientific name. Peperomia rotundifolia, I believe. Uh, as you can see, this one, oh, I think one piece fell off. This one has the flowers. I know anybody who's had a peperomia knows that they get these kind of little spadix-like flowers. They don't have like a big inflorescence or anything. Uh, this peperomia in particular is especially easy just because it's more succulent. If you notice, the leaves are very thick. They're just these very thick discs. Um, that means it retains a little more water so you don't have to worry about watering this one as much. Um, stick it under some light leave it alone I mean it just it's all of this floppy growth on top has grown since I got it and I've only had it for maybe a couple of months so they grow fairly quickly did I just lose another piece maybe not they do drop those discs just because but it's fine you can take them and propagate them if you break a piece off just let it uh, let it dry out a little bit it'll start to sprout roots um, I have other peperomia I think is it up here there's my raindrop peperomia up there. That one's not quite as easy, I don't think, but uh, I've got a couple of other ones back there. Yeah. But peperomia in general are pretty simple to take care of, and there's a lot of variety, so there's always something new to find. Uh, number three, let's say this one. Dracaena, 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 the famous dragon tree. Um, this is a white jewel Dracaena. Um, Dracaena starts with an S, I think. Oh well, I'll look it up after this. But uh, this is a plant that I just, I just water it and I just let it go. And it just does its thing. I'll fertilize it. 
um, maybe bi-monthly during the growing season and uh, not at all during the winter time. But uh, I think there's a spider in here. I see a spider web and it's not spider mites. Huh, that's okay. Spiders are not bad, unless they're brown recluse spiders. Anyway, um, Dracaena also includes Sansevieria now. So snake plants, which are extremely easy going. I gave one to my brother and he still has it alive. And he's, uh, he's not really good with plants. Um, but I think this one has given him hope. Anyway, so yeah, snake plants, super easy. Dracaena, yes. Number two, this is a toss up, but I'm gonna go with the philodendron. This is philodendron heteracium, the Hartley philodendron. In my opinion, this is the easiest of the philodendrons just because it's trailing, you can shape it, you can propagate it really easily. Um, it just grows and grows and just kind of doesn't stop. Like it just, it just keeps growing. Even in the winter time, like it just keeps, now in the winter time it gets a little bit longer growth. Like um, there's more space between the nodes. Like the node is kind of where the leaf comes out and then the space in between is called the internode. And in the winter time you'll get longer internodes just because they're reaching for more light. But um, yeah, philodendron, all philodendrons are pretty easy to take care of. Um, I've got, well, um, well, I don't know which ones we can see here. It's okay. I've got a few big, like upright philodendrons too, and they're pretty easy to take care of. Um, but yeah, also none of these plants really get pests. I mean, they can, but they're a lot more pest resilient than say, um, What's one that, oh my gosh, uh, English Ivy, Hedera Helix, Spider Mites. Like if you want Spider Mites, just go buy yourself an English Ivy and just let it sit for a few days and they'll just show up out of nowhere. So uh, I will say that like a cactus, if you put it outside, sometimes they will get uh, mealy bugs, but those are really easy to take care of. Number one, you guys probably know number one already because everybody, probably starts out with this plant, an Epipremnum pothos. This is a jade uh, Epipremnum aureum. I have a marble queen right up there, which I think you've seen in a previous video. I've got an actual golden pothos, but it's so big that I had to leave it over there. Um, the jade, I want like a bigger one. Like this one's growing okay. I don't know, it needs to fill out more, but Pothos, they'll just grow and grow and grow and kind of never stop. Even in the winter time, they will grow. I've seen videos that people say you can fertilize them even through the winter time because they just, they're always growing. They just never stop. Um, and they're really pretty too. I mean, the leaves are kind of a little bit thicker um, and they they have like a nice shape to them. Um, yeah, man. I mean, you just can't. You just can't go wrong with Epiprimnum. It's just so reliable. Uh, and Epiprimnum panadium, like the Cebu Blue Pothos, those are really easy too. Uh, I think I've shown mine already in the video before, but it's just growing down a beautiful like column, like a Greek pillar. It's amazing. If you ever wanna get a gift to somebody who says, oh, I'm so bad with houseplants, just get them one of these. All they have to do is just water the thing like once a week and just let it do its thing. Low light, high light, not direct sunlight, don't put it outside like in the sun, but um, it's just don't need humidity really. I don't know, they're just amazing. They're amazing, they're versatile. You can shape them, you can propagate them really easily. What's not to love, right? And um, the amount of variety in the leaves, I mean, Marble Queen and Mandula and uh, Enjoy and uh, Pearls and Jade, um, Gosh, there's just so many, I can't think of them all right now. But yes, so that is my top five. I think that's pretty reliable. If you guys have any, uh, if you guys have any that you think are really easy, please put them in the comments. Let me know what you think. There are definitely other easy plants, but these are just the ones that I'm like, 
that I've been able to just walk away from and be done with it. So um, I'm going to get some more videos to you guys. Hope you're having a great week. Like and subscribe if you like this content, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you.